Welcome to the Shake Up Podcast. I'm your host and co-founder of Mr. Consistent, Jared Bell. This is a podcast where we invite friends of the brand into our studio. We get to know their story a little bit better. We chat all things business, culture, and marketing, all while shaking up a few cocktails. On this week's episode, we have Dean and Ashley from Court Jewelry. They custom make every single piece of jewelry by hand from start to finish. And we chat all things working together as a married couple, work-life balance, and sticking true to their style. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Shake Up. This episode, we have Dean and Ash from Court Jewelry with us. They are Burley locals. Yeah, I guess you can yeah. say that. Yeah. Palm Beach locals. Yeah. We run into each other yeah. at cafes yeah. and stuff like that. But um, they are jewelry makers, custom made. Uh, you guys do bits and pieces that you actually put up for sale and stuff like that. But a lot of your pieces, you're actually making custom jewelry, right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. guess you could say we have a collection and it's all customizable. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. personalizable as well. So you can switch it up, change it up, add, add your own little twist to it. And you're also partners married? Yes. yes. How good. Two kids? Two kids going strong. Yeah, two's, two's enough. By two's enough? Yeah, yeah we'll wrap done. it up. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> done we both agree on that. Least least there, At least you agree on that. That's no beautiful. Accidents, please How not. good. Yeah. How'd you guys meet? Um, Classic met story, actually. In Surface. Stop yeah. it. Place to be. Yeah, what what, at, what um, club? I don't even know why we're at Melbourne, to be honest. Yeah. We started dancing on one of those platforms together. Oh, uh, for those yeah. listening, Melba's. It was literally like, love yeah. at first sight. <laughs> Melba's on the park was like their go to, like Dollar Coronas on like yeah. Wednesday night. Oh my God. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, it was a spot to go. It was, yeah. yeah I, we I got remember out, being. Got numbers that night. Being that way. Actually, you kind of, I think you were trying to push me away. Because <laughs> I asked for your number and you told me you lost your phone that day. So. Yeah, I actually I've did. I've got to get a new. I, was, <laughs> I thought I was getting shafted instantly. I was like, no, nah, I'm done here. Nah, but. but then we ran into each other again at Fisher's. Is it Fisher's? Yeah. Shows, yeah. And like mutual friends or just like yeah. completely random or? Yeah, uh, we knew like friends of friends. We're friends of like, friends, yeah. We had friends going away party, I think. Yeah, but we'd never actually met. Yeah, But right. all of our friends were friends. It was real weird. Yeah. yeah. You know what the Gold Coast is like, right? Yeah, yeah it's very small in this little town, but um, yeah, Melbourne's is a place of love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it still I there? don't even know if it's there I anymore. Know, I think it changed. I think it turned into something else, but yeah, Melbourne's was the spot. Oh my gosh. What was, what previous backgrounds before that, like obviously court jewelry is all encompassing now that like takes up everything in your yeah. time besides the kids and uh, spending time with them and yeah. stuff like that. What was, what do you guys used to do before that? Um, I worked in costume jewelry at Diva. Yeah. The, um, and like then actually designing it and stuff? No, or no, like just, sell, um, just selling it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then I moved into high-end jewelry yep. at Marina Mirage. And then that's when I was like, oh, I actually want to make it. Like, I don't want to sell it. I want to make it. So yep. I quit that job, started working at a cafe and started, started learning. Around, yeah, yeah, started learning how to make jewelry. Cool. Yeah. Self-taught. Yeah. Oh, my uncle's a jeweler, so he gave me a few tips on the way, along the way. But it's always nice. To have yeah, a little, it is. Little yeah. someone giving you a bit of insight there. Yeah, absolutely. You're pretty lucky to have that. Yeah, I was. And what about you, Dane? I was a, I was uh, a tradie straight out of like, out of school. Yeah. Really? Did a painting apprenticeship. Probably like the worst apprenticeship. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't even know they offered apprenticeships. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what everyone used to say to me. And I like, went to TAFE and everything. Stop like, it. Yeah, <laughs> ridiculous. So I did that um, for a while, man, like seven years or something, and then. I like hated it. Yeah. And like Ash talked me like into oh. just doing something I enjoyed. And at the time it was coffee. So uh, yeah, I, I got into hospitality as well. Yeah. We actually worked together for a while. In the cafe. While we were together, obviously. Yeah. 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 yeah at Elk in Broad Beach. Yeah. I know the cafe. Yeah. yeah. The original one. Um, yeah. So I was making coffee for a few years. And the, the, the hash at that. Oh, the hash. The hash at that. Still oh. on the menu, oh, man. man. It's so good. So good. <laughs> yeah, we try and go there like weekly. Yeah. Still. Every Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Because they've moved, right? They've moved, like, down into the Oasis yeah. bit or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they put a high-rise where, where they were. And then what was the breaking point? Like, you're obviously mucking around with um, making some jewellery, like, at yeah, home. Yeah, um, I started – Dean actually asked me to make a signet ring for him while I was, like, learning. Yep. Um, and then friends just wanted it, and it kind of just took off from there. Um, I just – when – how long ago? I guess you just, like, slowly started – like getting busier. Yeah. And then... And then I quit Elk and did it full time. And then Dean kind of helped me out on the side. Yeah. And then I got pregnant, mm. which was planned. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and... Definitely planned. Um, then we just decided to put everything into it. Just have yeah. a go. Yeah. yeah exactly. Because well, we thought like, you know, Ash is going to have this baby. 
like <laughs> <laughs> a bit of freedom. Have this baby. We can't serve coffee. Yeah. Where you got yeah. a baby under your. Well, own. I don't know. I guess we just thought we want to keep the business rolling. Like we yeah. didn't want to stop because, yeah. as you know, like you got to keep the momentum. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So we I had left. that talk where we we're like, "Do we yeah. keep doing this? Like, are you going to be able to do it? Have a baby, make jewelry." Yeah. Um, but Dean quitting and helping me out full time was. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Well, yeah. You don't realize how many other things go into running a business. Like I guarantee, like your business isn't just making jewelry. There's no, lots of other. No, and things. that's yeah. like if that was it, I would, I'd love that. But Dean does all the other stuff, like the emailing, the ordering, just dealing with everything. I just want to be on the bench making who's jewelry. The, who's the bookwork guru? <laughs> no, I became one. <laughs> Whether I'm doing it right, I'm not sure. I, th- I think I am. Don't look here, ATO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Um, but yeah, man, it was kind of like we just. Like at the time, obviously it was just supporting Ash because yep. I had the job. But we were like, all right, we've got however long to like maternity leave period, whatever. Yeah, yeah. To like work make this it happen. Out. So it kind of forced us to just push it more. Absolutely, yeah. how you know, good. You know, yeah, when you're focusing amazing. all your energy, it just kind of happens, I guess. I guess the goal for most people is to work for themselves anyway, right? Like yeah. you get to a point where you're like, oh, like this is uh, this has been a really fun hobby. Um, I really like doing this. How do I monetize it? And how do I and obviously the demand started creeping up and yeah. Yeah. you guys just made it work. Yeah. yeah, and it literally was just been super gradual, like just gradual ever since. How many That's years have you guys been going now? Uh, the full-time thing, like both of us. Like oh, like how, lo- how long since you first started, like court, like you put court out as a... Probably nine. Yeah. Nine years. Really nine years. Yeah. That's a but huge then, stint. But then From like, yeah. Full-time, both of us, five. Yeah, five years. Five yeah, That's easy to remember because it's when we had our daughter. Easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it made us finally. just jump in. Go time. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. Like just selling it jewelry on, that we make yeah. and all. Like it's just yeah. us, like handmade, handcrafted. Yeah, yeah. All your style. It's funny to think that like, and it was all coming out of our garage for like. Yeah, that's mad. Until a year ago, pretty much. Like, we'll get into that. I reckon. Yeah, sick. But uh, let's. Uh, you didn't look like you might need another drink in a minute. So let's. <laughs> Dean, who, 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 you're going to do. I've been told you're going to do the speed test here. Yes. You're going to make the cocktail. I'm he down. makes them at home, so. So, but, but this is like the place to don't make. Let me this down. is pressure. I'm kinda, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of scared. But Pressure's like, on. I'm up for it. Who's the winner out there, Tommy? Who's at number one? Uh, I Jeremy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sure. Jared, finally. <laughs> oh, how many goes did you have at it? One. Oh, one. one. Everyone one gets go. one go. Oh, Everyone gets one go. That's yeah. We're going to pressure. So the, the whole deal is, I'll walk you through it as we do it, about 75 mils of mix, 45 mils of booze, put some ice in, give it a red hot shake, strain it out. Yeah. Does it all have to be in the glass <laughs> at the end? Oh, look, <laughs> I, I've made notes up there. If you're neat and tidy, I'll put a, like, oh, a little asterisk on there, yeah, neat and tidy, okay, super cool, clean. Cool, cool, cool. Or absolute gone rogue, made an absolute mess. Yeah, you just <laughs> go rogue. <laughs> Trust me, be messy, it all counts. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, you just want to be at that number one pole position. Okay, so hey, top three, 31, 18, get in the top three, easy. It's okay, achievable. Top three, let's cool. go. Can win something? Yeah, maybe. You get to yeah, be on the board. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. You might take something home. See? We're going to be like shaking, I reckon. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. We're going to do the speed test. Dean is on. on. He's on. Are we going? All right, I'm going to – can I have my phone? I need a time. Where is it? Okay. Timer. 75 mils of mix, 45 mils of booze, bit of ice, give it five shakes, fruit on top. Straight. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll, we'll go on go. I'll go three, two, okay. one, go. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh. To the top, all the way. Seventy-five mils. Dump it in the shaker. There you go. Oh, Boom. Oh. Spill a bit of spillage. Oh. She's clean so far. It's not on the table. It's on the ground. You can't tell. The <laughs> there you go. Quick. Grin. He's shaking like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Good. Hey, you know. hey, hey. One skip ice. Be a quick bang. There we go. Shake it. One, two, three, four, five. Pop it open. Oh, oh, oh this is good. Time. Go. 22 seconds. Go. Straight it out. Put the fruit on top. Just pour, 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 pour. Drop the fruit on now. Oh, my God. Oh, it's time. 30 seconds. Oh, oh he's in it. Bam, 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 bam. It was like that's third. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the piece of paper? That was fully shaken there. That. Hey. Oh, that was that was some. Look at the sh- look at the handshake on him. <laughs> 30, 30, 92. Hey, that's a that's a top three, easy. Top three. I don't have a permanent marker though, so I'm not yeah, gonna one of those. I felt like it was a lot shorter than 30. Seconds. I think, I reckon you, so. Nah, I think I'm just. <laughs> the double ice scoop. You went back for the second. Scoop. Yeah, nah, you this one. I, I reckon you would have been at like 29, so 28. I, for the, I didn't get enough 
There's been no rules it, um, allocated for the uh, yeah, for the ice. Yeah, so how much ice you can and can't ice, put that's in? How I do it? Just how's it taste, baby? More ice. Yeah, how's it oh, taste? Yeah, is first Cosmo yeah. experience. Yeah, shaking. I'll try and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your hand. <laughs> it was nervous. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Pressure. Thirty-one. What was it thirty twenty-nine on the speed test? What, what what place is he? I'm not what on place? the board yet. What's happening? That's um. <laughs> what place? We in third place. That's third place. You've yeah. knocked somebody out of the top three. So was that dreams do come true? That's the one that works here. <laughs> yeah, that's Mikey, the cocktail. It's the one cocktail of the fans. Wizard. He's like the guy who makes all the products. Oh, wow, we'll have to let him know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll send him. You send him a photo after. Don't <laughs> worry. He's filthy because he always gets beat, but he's got this really bad habit of when he like actually. Goes to like put the lid on from being in a bar. He always goes to spin the cocktail oh, shaker. Like he's, he's got, got like some fancy. Yeah, he's yeah. got some flair, but he always drops it because oh, no. he hasn't been in a bar for so long. <laughs> oh man, he always I think drops I lost it a bit when I was shaking it. Yeah, double double ice scoop didn't I help. I could have yeah. just held it and would have sh- like shaken it up enough. I reckon my hands were moving. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they were. Yeah, they were going. <laughs> oh, All right, what? Like you guys have obviously been doing this for nine years. No one in this room's name's Courtney or anything like that. Where no. does no. where does court court I jury get come from? Courtney a lot. Do you? I, was, I, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. She's too nice. Like, to I'm too, them. Like we're on the beach, and they're like Courtney. I'm like hi. Hey. <laughs> she won't. She won't say anything. I'm like oh man. Oh that's so yeah. It's actually Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's my maiden name. Yeah. Gotcha. Last Court. name. Yeah. Part of, part of your maiden. Part of yeah. yeah. It's Corthells, but it's. First few letters. Yeah. I'm glad I did it before we got married because our last name's Butt now, so Butt Jewelry wouldn't really work. Yeah, yeah. That'd, yeah that'd be interesting. <laughs> to roll off the tongue. No. Well. Absolutely not. And how did, how did that cut, like, when did that step in when you're like, all right, I'm going to call it Court, this is a brand, this is my thing? Was it um, nine years ago? Was it a little bit more recently or? Oh, I, no, I had, don't know. You had the name. Like, like when I guess when we did our website, I was like, oh, what are we going to call it? We're playing around with some names, yeah. and then I didn't have a name at the start. I was just making jewelry, just for making friends. stuff for friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to call it Ashley. No. And Dean wasn't a part of it then. Like he was just supporting me. Yeah. I was kind of like, whatever, yeah. dude. I'm painting houses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> call it whatever you want. Call it whatever you want, babe. So I just went with court. I just thought it was short, it was, easy, and that yeah. it related to you personally. I yeah. think it was a good move. Yeah. In the yeah. end. And then what did you start making? Like, what was the pieces that you began? Um, sort of mucking around with. Oh, making. just I was carving out of wax, like yep. our signet rings. Yep. Yeah, Dean's like, oh, make me a signet ring. Like at first I was just learning the skills and stuff, so just yep. making random things. But my first piece was the palm tree signet ring we had. Yep. Um, we still sell it. Yeah, we still sell it now. Yeah. And um, that kind of took us – that's kind of where the direction went came from. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of just flowed from there. Yeah, a few few buddies like saw them and stuff yeah. like that. And at that time, I think a few mates were getting married in that. Yeah, like we're kind of at that age. Yeah. So yeah, and then like that, I made like two wedding rings for friends, and then I was like, oh, I could make a business out of this. Like, make start making yeah. some yeah. cash money. Yeah, out of exactly. little niche, I suppose. Yeah, it's hand pieces like handcrafted pieces are always nice. Like I feel like when you can make something for somebody mean something because somebody has something made for yeah. somebody yeah gives it a fair bit more meaning and that person will hold on it to it for a long time and totally. it yeah, kind of resonates with your brand as well yeah. at the end of the day like people that when they buy a piece from you it actually means something to them yeah, yeah exactly and a lot of our pieces are gifts like it's always for someone yeah, yeah um and nearly every single piece is like custom engraved with something yeah. like an initial for like your first child or yeah. birth dates anniversaries anything like that so cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, jewelry's already sentimental. So to be able to add that. Yeah. A little bit yeah. extra, like, personal touch. And handmade thing. Is like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you that's... Guys hand, yeah. Like, you guys do everything from start to finish, right? Like... Yeah. yeah. Pretty, no, pretty much, no, yeah. Like, yeah. No real machinery involved or uh, anything like that or... Well, once once I carve it from wax, yeah. the signet rings, I will get them cast into silver. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 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 Make but them then, yeah, yeah, make yeah. them mold gotcha. um, But, yeah, everything's from there is... Done by Done hand. Done by hand. Yeah. Out yeah. in the back of Burley here. Yeah. Yeah. First got your lease. It's lace. not Dean's favourite part of the job, being on the bench. Like, I kind of forced him into <laughs> yeah. it because I needed help. Um, could be worse. Could be so I was, like, stuff. getting him to polish, like, yep. like teaching him. And yeah. He's way more hands-on now, but he'd way rather be in the office doing all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, love, I love all that stuff. And it's yeah. good because Ash doesn't enjoy that stuff. Like, the, the <laughs> yeah. emails and, like, yeah. getting back to people. Yeah. And that was kind of, like, the first 
on my first step into the business was writing back to emails and that like yep. Ash hated it. Like, I she, was so like, I've got so many emails to write back to. This is like years ago. It'd be like three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. That Just reply. Take, that'll take five People minutes. are trying to give you money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's what would happen. Uh. But like, yeah, I, I quite enjoy that customer service yeah. Yeah. relation relationship you build with those people. Like those people, I shouldn't say that, sorry, and with people. But um, yeah, it's I enjoy that heaps. And you guys, you get a lot of repeat purchases, like people come back. And yeah, they, yeah, we have a really good return yeah. customer. Yeah, we have really loyal customers, yeah. which is yeah, amazing. Clients are seriously the best. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Like, we go from like wedding rings to like men's wedding rings yeah. um, to like then their wife's getting them initial rings for their first kid and yeah. you know, anniversaries. And yeah, and then the dude will buy you know, the partner or something, their, their wife yeah. or their girlfriend or whatever. Like, so yeah. we've got a good range that yeah. sort of. Yeah. And it's just ring. What else do you do besides rings? Like necklaces, necklaces signets, earrings, yeah. bracelets, everything. Chains. Literally yes. everything. Everything. Because your style's like pretty. Like you guys are very cool, and like the way, it, like your style of ring. Like when I look at you guys, and like I look at tats and all those kind of things. <laughs> like yeah. you, you have a very prominent style. Where does that yeah. come from? Is yeah. that just like a, a built up over a bunch of years, or how do you come up with the like new designs that you put out, or the ranges that you put out, or yeah. People come to you and they're like, I want this or whatever. Is, yeah. is there anything people come to you and be like, uh, yeah, yeah it's not in our wheelhouse? Say, yeah, we actually do say no a bit yep. because yeah. we do want to stick with our style. And yep. we always like push them towards something that's similar, that's ours. Yeah. Always with our shape and our style. Yeah. Um, but I think we realised like that a few, like a while wear. ago too. Like we sort of made a few things that like weren't up our alley and we're kind of like, what are we doing? Like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah you're getting money for it, but like at the same time, you, you're kind of losing direction of, what why, your brand is and what, yeah, what who brand, you are. Yeah, yeah, totally. And like why you started making jewelry in the first place. Like, so hard to say no to money though. Like, yeah. It right? is, like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, but then like, I don't know, man. Like there's so many other people out there that could yeah. make that sort of stuff. I don't yeah. know. But um, yeah, yeah we're guess, really big on just, just sticking with our style. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And yeah. it's just stuff we want to wear. Like every time we design a piece, we always talk about it back and forward. So it's good because we have, we're similar, but we're different. So we always have like mm. a. Yeah, a good. Yeah, we just Back bounce off each other heaps yeah. when yeah. we're designing something. Um, and I think originally when we started, it was like, like actually when I met her, like just thick jewelry books, like always looking, like studying yeah. the history oh, yeah. of jewelry, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah, I love jewelry. You've come a long way from Diva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not those kind of looks. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, yeah, I think, so like we're kind of always into like traditional jewelry and like I was into traditional, like yep. everything. Yeah. Um, and, and then, tattoo. Yeah. Like, tattoo like even the tattoo. Like I've seen, like I was looking on your Instagram, you do like, yep. you've got the spider web on your arm, you've done yeah. web rings, yeah. you've got one, one of ones and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Totally. Well. And we did a collaboration with a local tattoo artist. Yeah, our buddy Dan. Yeah, he did um, some drawings for us and cool. then we engrave them on pieces. Yeah. yeah. You've done um, something with Alfred's apartment yeah. as well? Yeah. We did uh, a range with them too. Oh, not a range, sorry. Like uh, like they're, you know, they're, they're well known for their, yep. their a. iconic A. So yep. put that in a pendant for them. And, yeah, so cool. They have such a good cult following. Anything yeah. coming up like that? Oh, man. I'm trying to think. Do we? I feel like we just did we, a few. Yeah. So we're kind of <laughs> like, yeah. I don't think we do actually. No. We just... Just cruising. Just cruising. That's yeah, a, that's us though. Take a minute yeah. when those emails come in. Yeah. <laughs> we did it like a Dean will let you know. Yeah. <laughs> we did a little video thing the other day, but that's not coming out for another month, so I don't know if we should really say too much about that. But yeah. I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure. I mean, we heard me. I <laughs> didn't really read Up the fine print this there. Is a, this, is a, this would probably be a come out, what, Kirsten, this is probably coming out like in about three, four weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we just did like a little um, – we can cut it out after. Video with Dickies, which <laughs> yeah. is cool. Like that's a cool. brand that I've. I am wearing their Dickies. Yeah, I've been wearing yeah. Dickies forever. Yeah. So when they hit us up, we were stoked. So. That brand yeah. is like very like it aligns with you guys very well. Yeah, right, as when they asked us, we were like, "Oh, we love your stuff." Where? Yeah, come so in, cool. film us. That's it. Like if it was you know a brand that we didn't like or interested in, we probably wouldn't have done it. But yeah, it was so stoked. How good? Yeah, man. So that was that was pretty. And cool. just a team of two, just you guys. Yeah, we yeah. we did have a. One of our friends, Kayla, worked with us. Uh, yeah, our first employee, was, yeah. which was rad. She just had her baby though, so she was with us for two weeks and then she's like, oh, guys, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Woo, like, you know that feeling, right? <laughs> yeah. Like you, yeah. 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 So she but just finished up literally like yeah. two, three weeks ago. Yeah, she was supposed three, to do – Three weeks ago. Yeah, the baby came early, but um, mm. hopefully she comes back after. Yeah. Yeah. Third. We'll, need yeah. we'll, we'll need help uh, before Christmas. Definitely. Yeah. You might have to get like a little kindy going in there, her three and your two. <laughs> She'd end up being in the kids. 
Yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, so that nah we good. like to keep it close to us. We like to be hands on. Well, I do. Yeah. I'm yeah. really, it's really hard for me to be like. Let go. Things, yeah, let yeah. go. Definitely. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it's all, like it is, um, you, everything you make is very personal to yeah, you guys. Exactly. Or like it's, it resonates with your style. Like if you just have some random jewelry maker come in and start making, yeah. trying, to, yeah. trying to duplicate you is not going to be easy. Yeah, exactly. And like just different styles, I guess. And with, um, our first employee, Kayla, like she was learning so she could learn from us yep. and how yeah. we like to do things. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I guess if you hired a jeweler or something, they'd have their own ways about doing things. Yeah. And yeah. Like, Anyone know. asked to be like apprentice or anything, like learn from you guys? Yeah. That'd be yeah, pretty cool. Lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. A lot yeah. <laughs> I want to make <laughs> but You like, want to come in and make some jewelry? <laughs> well, I see like there's like jewelry classes and stuff yeah. now yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Heaps. Like this yeah. heaps. It's become like um, – like people, you know, they go do pottery classes or cocktail making classes yeah. or whatever that's it. Like yeah. now they're doing like it they're making it a little bit more readily available to actually understand the art of yes. making jewelry. Like yeah. pottery is so friggin' hard. Like yeah. I, I've oh, done it a yeah. couple of times. I wanna and, do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's like for me, it's very like um relaxation. It's yeah. like it, I can't monetize it. I I don't want to monetize it. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just a little escape. Yeah, I'm still yeah. creating something, but I'm yeah, like an escape. I'm still creating, but like I feel like yeah. that jewelry making would offer that to people. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's some definitely something we've talked about doing classes and stuff, but we're just so busy at the moment. You're doing we other just, stuff, yeah. Yeah, and then also like having time with our family as well. Yeah, that's it so yeah. important. It did eat into it's, that time, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's really important to us. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. While they're little, they yeah. want to hang out with us. You guys do yeah. much in the way of marketing? Or is it all very organic the way you do it? Or like. Yeah, so basically everything that we have done and do is like we've just made it up or just learned <laughs> along the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, so fa- like even like Facebook ads yeah. or like. Yeah, we do a g- bit of that. Gifting to influencers or anything do, like that. Or We tried that a little, the gifting. Yeah. yeah it didn't thing. really work for us. Yeah. So yeah. And. Um, I don't know. Yeah. And it didn't feel like we weren't comfortable with it, didn't I feel guess. feel organic, yeah. Yeah, it didn't, yeah. no. And like I think when we start, started like Instagram all those years ago, it was a great time to start and like build it. Yeah. Like a good loyal following and stuff. But now obviously it's heaps different. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's so wild, man. So it has man. been it's, really natural for us. Yeah, we, we obviously play around with like um, advertising in that form, like Instagram, Facebook, but that's yep. kind of it. Like, and yeah. then stockers, got many, like you guys have many stockers around. Yeah, so they quietened down a little bit during COVID, unfortunately. But yeah, we had a, we had a few around Australia. But um, we got these guys in um, Burley, actually. Uh, uh, sorry, damn. Yeah, yeah, damn good store. Sorry, damn. <laughs> <laughs> they said good damn. Um, the damn good store. Yeah, they're rad. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of them. Where are they? They're um. Do you know where the old? Um, it used to be a tattoo shop, didn't it? No, it's behind that old oh, tattoo shop, like yeah. near Harry's and... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. in there. It's in almost, like almost feels like you're in the apartment yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, like in the little, reception. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was like a little greenery. Like, yeah. Um, so, so they're in there, but they still like... Go past Rosie. Keep going past Rosellas and they're in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's where you want to try on court jewellery. Yeah, yeah there, and <laughs> we've got like a few in Byron at the moment. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we kind of have a little set up at our... Uh, Online set up. Yeah, like a little showroom. We're working on it. How long does it take to make a piece? Like if somebody came to you and were like, hey, I want a signet ring with this letter on it for my firstborn child. Yeah. How long does it take from like. From, from yeah. like. Yeah. Like from from ordering order it now. Or and then yeah. Well, like. Yeah. We say, do have a bit of a wait on our pieces. So like, yeah, but like, if, I, if I was on the bench, yeah. you know, a couple of days, like to. Yeah. If you're talking like like order process or like actual making. No, nah, just making yeah, process. Just making. Yeah, making process. I get there's a way. You guys, yeah, are, popu- that's you guys are popular. <laughs> that's sort of ring a couple of days. That's, yeah, 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 a couple of days. And yeah. just like. From you, start to finish. And you just sit there and just go at it. Yeah, and that's what I love, like how you're talking about pottery before. I just yeah. zone out. It's just, I put my. Yeah. Chuck the headphones <laughs> on yeah, and away you go. Yeah, my headphones on and then she I just. gets very angry when I like tap Yeah, Dean comes over and he tries <laughs> to talk to me about something. I'm like, go away. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary. This is my time. Leave <laughs> yeah. me alone. But that's kind of how Ash works best. Like, Yeah, cool. Just. Because, like, obviously for years she was just on her own. Yeah. Yes. And when I came into the space, I was like, hey, yeah, I'm yeah, annoying. And, like, <laughs> she was just like, what is this guy doing? Like, this guy's up in my business. Yeah, <laughs> I can zone out for, like, five hours without anyone coming over. But then yeah. I had to get used to it. Him what, are you li- what are you listening to in those headphones? <laughs> <laughs> you like she's, zoning out? This is uh, where Ashley reveals she's <laughs> actually a nana. <laughs> <laughs> she Audiobooks? Like, yeah. Just, yeah, romance. Yeah, stuff. right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. pretty no sexy music, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Actually, you've been getting into podcasts, but yeah, I have. But yeah. nah, definitely romance novels. There's only so much like education <laughs> you can take in. Like, yeah. yeah, I think she likes to yeah. escape. I do because when I met her, she was like movie crazy. Still is. Yeah, so yeah I think I that's kind of like your way yeah. of Do, being able to read and work at the same time. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. I used to read heaps. I used to hey. read heaps. Now you just, yeah, just on the audio books. Yeah. <laughs> just Dean will go in the house. Like, what are you listening to right now? I'll look over and she'll be crying. <laughs> <laughs> or she'll be like, oh, like laughing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's so good. Just in the zone. Yeah. yeah. I try to get him to listen to him, but he won't. Oh. Audio book, you got to, yeah, audio, depends on the person that's, that's reading them, right? Yeah, like yeah. for me, that's the, I've listened to a couple and you get like an American accent or something really heavy yeah. and you're like, oh, this is hard now to Now they have like cheesy. sound effects and everything. It's really. Stop <laughs> it. She will sell you on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where all our money goes. Like, all yeah, these yeah. audio Romance yeah. novels <laughs> with sound effects. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Love audible. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, have you guys any like majority or like had any like pinch me moments like when you obviously sign your lease or you've made a piece for somebody you're like holy shit I can't believe this person has found me and been yeah. like I want a piece from you um oh, we've got you, some NDAs out found, there or what no. <laughs> <laughs> when you found out Gigi was following us that yeah. was pretty huge I don't yeah, know yeah Gigi started following us Gigi had did that was pretty yeah, cool that that's was really pretty, cool yeah so just cause we made a ring for Zane yep um she just emailed us it was really cool but I think she found us through Cody Simpson yeah Oh, because they were dating. They were dating. So yeah. Man, those the, her the him and his sister are like we we've done some stuff with his sister and they're like they're so avid of like Australian brands yeah. and like they yeah. love spoken Australian and Australian yeah. made and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, he's been really cool. supportive. Yeah, it was yeah, cool. Always wearing our rings. So, yeah, he's made you've made stuff for him. Yeah, yeah. For Custom yeah. or he's just bought it or randomly like Um he actually first piece was through Alfred's. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, he's good friends with the boys, yeah. 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 And then I think we just saw, yeah, that he, and then, or they told us or something. I'm like, oh, maybe we'll see if he wants a and couple. Then, yeah. We sent him some more. And then actually the funniest thing, I forgot about this. Remember like one day someone from like America wrote to us and they were setting up a Whack a Wax Museum. Yeah. And he was oh, going to be one yeah. of the. Yeah, so right. Make, <laughs> they're like, oh, so we, we know he wears rings. your jewellery. So we made like, he had like two of rings. So we yeah, made four a, The or palm something. tree and the lightning bolt. And yeah, four of them just to go on two waxes. On a yeah. wax, Sim- yeah. Cody Simpson. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> like someone's yeah, wearing our rings cool. that isn't a human. That's weird. Yeah. That's so, yeah. Is <laughs> That's really funny. Any others? Or that? Um, I guess when Miley, the Iris wore Cody Simpson's uh, ring too. Co- yeah. Cody, oh, yeah. I'll shout out if you yeah. want something, mate. <laughs> 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 Thanks for doing good things, yeah. Simpson family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, that was cool too. Someone tagged us in and they're like, is this a court ring? And I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah that was weird. Because yeah. I remember one day you were like, oh, imagine if like Miley Cyrus would wear our stuff. Because, you know, she was just yeah. huge and yeah, Ash yeah. loves her yeah. and stuff. And then, yeah, one morning yeah, that was someone cool. tagged us and was like, yo. But I just love seeing our jewellery when I'm like walking around and That'd see be someone cool. wearing yeah. it. Yeah, On the walking coast, it's straight. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've been out too many times, probably when I've had too many beers, <laughs> and like yeah. going up to people, I'm like, ah, like sick. Like, it's just awesome to see, yeah. you know what I mean? Like. That's the best. Have you taken every pieces off and just been like, ah, oh, have it? <laughs> <laughs> Might have done that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's so yeah. cool. The yeah. pinch me moments are like what makes business fun, right? Like yeah. that, we've had we've had a fair few of them here. But yeah, like, and they're not, they don't only come in um, celebrity format or people spoken your product, but like in terms of like business, yes. like yeah. pinch me moments. like of Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Getting our studio last year, that was like. Moving, scary moving out the garage yeah, getting out of our garage was really scary for yeah. me but that was super yeah, but was it was huge, pretty obviously. awesome yeah i remember that conversation here we were like oh it's a i think we were sharing a um a sourdough manufacturer like he made sourdough crumpets and we we're oh, sharing what? like a little corner of the kitchen no bigger than this room and he was we're like, oh, it's 120 bucks a week to sublease it. And we're like, can we afford it? Like yeah. 120 bucks between three people's not much <laughs> a week. And then, the, and then the second one came when we bought it, like we leased a forklift and we're like, it's 200 bucks a week. And we're like, wow. oh shit, yeah. can we afford yeah. 200 bucks a week? Like, and they're like, they're That's, the, they're the yeah. pension owners. We're like, holy shit, yeah. sure. we can afford to do this as a business. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's also like just me leaving the kids. Like I was like, oh, I'm leaving the house. Oh, stepping yeah, out. Stepping yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Um, think, yeah, this, I think like every time, like, you know, small business, even just, every time you have an online sale, you're stoked. Like, yeah. Your phone goes off and you're like, oh my, like, that's, who's Sh- buying this? You guys on Shopify? Yeah. 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 You get Shopify. the ding? Yeah, yeah, the ding. Yeah. The ding's the best. <laughs> and then you do a dance? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my our office, had, my, my wife sits in one office, me and Jeremy sit in another and then like the sales team down here and when we get a sale, you just hear like the ding go through oh. the whole oh. building. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, how, yeah. yeah. How good is this? Like yeah. such a cool feeling when somebody yeah. buys a product. For sure, Yeah, man. definitely. Yeah, it's epic. 
And then you get, do you guys get like you obviously get lots of good feedback or people writing emails, being yeah, like, yeah. That's so the much best. like like yeah. pieces that actually mean somebody something to somebody, and they yeah. hit you back and oh like yeah, that. definitely those emails are the best. Yeah, it makes it all worthwhile, you know what I mean? Dean forgets yeah. to tell me about them, though, sometimes. So I'm like, <laughs> I've heard from any customers, like, oh, yeah, no, they wrote, I didn't tell I've you. I've got eight yeah. emails <laughs> to tell you about. <laughs> like, it's all, like, it's nicer when people take time to write an email. Like, obviously, yeah. you know, people sharing photos is epic, but when but people when take people time. But when people yeah. take the time to write to us. Yeah, I think that's. Which is really nice. Because, you know, time is a huge thing for people. These days. Absolutely. You guys do, like, merch or anything? Because like, I've seen yeah. you've got, like, the tote bags on your Instagram. Yeah, like you yeah. we that do stuff as well. a t-shirt like once a year. I think. Yeah, we did one a couple, yeah. couple months ago, I think. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Yeah. Usually just like got a design buddy. Just a bit of fun. Or yeah, a bit of fun for us. It's fun. definitely something I love doing, but yeah. it's not like our – Core business. No. Yeah, it's not no. our money maker or anything. It's yeah. just like for our like core followers, I think. Yeah. And just friends, friends and stuff yeah. that support you. They want to yeah, wear exactly. your stuff. And we did like a little kid's tea this year and that – that was really that's fun. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. That that sold really fast. You get yeah. to a friend when all you, you get to an age when all your friends are starting to have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and get some money. Yeah, out they, of you. <laughs> get some, <laughs> some money out of you, suckers. The first round, <laughs> yeah. For sure. But yeah, yeah, I'd love to do more. It's fun. Yeah. I love that stuff. We're trying to do that here. Like I like I love merch. My background yeah. was in designing board shorts and t-shirts and oh, stuff. Right. So mm-hmm. like it it when people put a t, it's the same thing for me. You know, like we can sell cocktails all day, but then when people are walking around with your t-shirt or whatever it is, a bit of brand exposure yeah. and oh, for yeah. sure. like if people love your brand, like your rings and your, all that kind of stuff, and then they're willing to spend money on a t-shirt, yeah. you know, yeah. your product and your brand's good enough that yeah, they'll just totally. run it walking down the street. Yeah. No, it's really good. And it's also nice for those loyal customers for us to send them a t-shirt or oh, a bag or. Mm. They'd love yeah. that shit. They'd lap it up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So like, cool. Especially when people like spending good money. It's yeah. Like, want to sort of thank them in other ways absolutely yeah. customers customer service is key it is it's yes huge. it is for sure man and that's Dean's something good we're at huge it. on really, too like, yeah i don't know i just feel like they're like you know, they're sort of everything like they're yeah the whole reason we have our business and we grew up like buying online so you know what it's like to yeah you mate when something turns up and it's broken or lost or yeah. whatever is the first thing we do is like if it's broken or lot like australia post notify us we'll just send it out and Send another one out. Yeah. Away you go. Like, like we've had stuff turn up. I got a, a photo of an Australia Australia Post delivery driver ran over a box of margaritas oh, no. and <laughs> scooped it up into a plastic bag, and then still delivered it no. to oh. the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, cu- the customer sent me a photo. I was like, oh man, I'm really sorry. I'll get you a Don't new you. one. <laughs> Here's an extra oh. bottle. Good yeah, cool. Post. All right, we might have a break and we'll come get another drink. Sweet. We'll come back. Okay. This episode is sponsored by our production team. They're working around the clock using the freshest ingredients to make our delicious cocktail mixes for you guys to enjoy. Now back to the episode. We're going to play the Shake Up card game. This card game hopefully will be out in the next few weeks or is out already, unsure. <laughs> Due to the production time. <laughs> so we've got the sample. Uh, don't judge me on this uh, dodgy little setup here we've got here. But it's a never have I ever... Rules are pretty simple. Uh, person who shook the slowest cocktail goes first. <laughs> That's going to be you, Ashley, because oh, oh, you didn't yeah. have a go. <laughs> 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 Unless you want to have a go yeah. and try and be. Um, You're not shaking, though. Yeah, basically, no, if you've got a story, um, if you don't have a story, just drop the card. Okay. Put it down. Because there's a couple like paranormal experiences. I think yeah. oh. There's some people that are into that. I don't know. Have yeah. you had paranormal experiences? Um, no. <laughs> Surprised you haven't. I feel like you would. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Um, yeah, if you haven't done it, just drop the card and then we'll have another one. But you could choose a story. And then if I've got a story or Dean's got a story, he's also got to tell it. Like, be careful here, Dean. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. You might have Ooh. to remind me if I have a story. They're all, yeah. I might yeah. listen to this. Here we go. Let's see how we go. Choose a card. Being slapped across the face. Oh, we had this one yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> have I? Have I? Uh, I don't, I don't know. think I have, no. We're going to have to go again no. then. Yeah. Oh, sweet, sweet, don't have to go. No, but well, you've been slapped across the face for <laughs> sure. No, that's not how the game works, is it? <laughs> 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 have you been? Maybe? No, I Have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually slap him all the time, but joking around. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. just pretend. <laughs> it's not like, it's not anger driven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's love. It's all, it's all love. Had a secret fling with a coworker. Oh. Oh, Taylor. We do work. We, oh my god. <laughs> she was pregnant. That's yeah. No. Nah. Um, 
Well, you. You guys have been dating <laughs> yeah. for so long. We've been together forever. Long, we got nothing. We got no stories. We're a bit boring. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go another one. <laughs> <laughs> we've been, been together too long, though. Yeah. Purposely given out a fake number. That's when I thought you stitched me up. That yeah, time. I guess that, that was, was that time. But I gave real. you a number. Mm. Oh, was, what about you? you? Have you know? given anyone a fake number? Uh, people don't ask me for numbers. I definitely feel like that's more of a directed at a female. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, I don't think so oh, recently. Man. All right, let's go another because I've already told my fake number story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a do- yeah, it was a doozy. Applied <laughs> for a reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. These are, these are, I feel, because we're, like we're a little bit like, older though. Like, like, yeah, yeah, I feel like I should tap these out and let like, Dean have a go. All right. Me. I'm, I've Ooh. gone four in. I probably haven't done any of those either. I feel like this might be. <clears> yeah, just hand it to him. <laughs> This sound, this this one's up your alley. Choose this one. Oh. <laughs> That's scary. Never have I ever been taken to the hospital for doing something silly. Oh yes, <laughs> Bali. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were at a. Oh, you tell it. I was at a bucks party on a boat. Something happened. My brother pushed you. Yeah. Like mucking around, and he. I was trying to be funny, so I punched him. Just being drunk, dumb. Just being silly. Just whacked him. Then he barely touched me, and I <laughs> fell over. They were on a boat in Bali yeah. at a bar. It was really safe. It was a very safe environment. <laughs> no one was drinking. And then I fell over and like hit my face. I'm like, you know where they tie the ropes off? Oh, oh man, yeah, they're dude. hard. Yeah. But, um, and then I looked up. I didn't feel anything. I was just like, oh, I fell over. <laughs> and everyone was looking at me and like with a real shocked face. No, nah, no, nah, because I got a message from the boys because we were at the at a hens the same yeah. night. We we're going to meet up later, and the boys were like, "Oh, don't get upset." Dean's like hit his face. It's not bad. And then we met up and he's, it was like hanging. I had, I had three it was like lips, a big, yeah, it was so bad. Really good. Like the guy did a good job. But anyway, and yeah, I had like a split, <laughs> guy did a good job. split my lip. I was like, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> he got stitched up. And then the guy's like, oh, be careful. Then the next minute we're back at, out in Bali. Dancing on tables. And you were on Tell someone's some. shoulders. Oh, was I? And he had like, nice. at the wedding, he had like this big bandage over his it went, face. Was the wedding like? Obviously, the Bucks party and the hands yeah. party and then the wedding were all in the sa- oh, roughly yeah. in the same yeah. week. Yeah. Days later, yeah. So the wedding, <laughs> I had a bandage on my face. Yeah. So I wasn't it. in the party, thank Lovely. God. But, um, no photos. No. It was real funny. Her brother came. He felt accountable. So he came to watch me get stitched up and he literally went across the road, bought a packet of chips and sat in the room and watched. Yeah. <laughs> and he thought it was hilarious. Yeah, he thought it was – he paid for and it. And I think though, I was which singing was nice. while he was stitching me up. But the guy did an epic job. Yeah, he, he did. I, I really think when did. you when you when like you realise you're going to the hospital in Bali, I think that's when the <gasps> – Oh, when it comes to you, yeah. like, oh, yeah, it was, it was just shit. Scary, it was just like when they all thought it wasn't that bad, but it was literally like cut in half, <laughs> just hanging. I was like, oh, you are going to get stitches. <laughs> um, yeah, that was probably it. That's probably the only one. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I don't have a story. I'm a massive pussy. No. <laughs> what about you? I don't think I'd be in the hospital. Doing something silly? No. No, I've ne- yeah, no I'm a, I don't, yeah, I've never been I'm rushed to the drunk. hospital. Yeah. That's good. I'm a good yeah. drunk. <laughs> 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 if someone's like, do this, I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, that is dumb. I am not going to do that. I've, I've taken friends to the hospital, but I've never been the guy going to hospital. Oh, that's good, man. You want to avoid that. Absolutely. Sure. How do you guys, like, you obviously travel, you live together, you work together. How do you guys manage that whole situ? Like, is it? Yeah, I mean, I think we found out from an early sort of point in working together. Like, Yeah, back when we were at the cafe together. Oh, yeah, we worked together then. Oh, that was a different vibe. Though, yeah, it was because we were working for someone and we were in different parts. But I think we realise pretty quickly that like because we are together so much that we need to have our own time. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, our time to ourselves or whether that's, you know, Ash going can, out with the girls or yeah. me going out with the boys or whatever. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's definitely a huge thing. And like working at home definitely was like that too. It was like, yeah. all right, let's get out and escape whether it's together or yeah, uh, it was usually like you know. I remember seeing you guys at cafes all the time. That yeah. was the same with me and Chris. Like we've had through this is our fourth business together, but yeah, like right. you're always like when you're working at home, where he's like just going to a cafe yes. and having a coffee, yeah, it's just, just like escaping, yeah, from just that. relaxing yeah. from home, getting away Pretty from much. home or whatever it is. I yeah, can no. tell when Dean's had enough, like he needs a night out. <laughs> she literally like, tells me, she's like, you got to go out tonight. I'm yeah. like, oh, and he comes, please leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's seriously the next day. He's like. So good. He's like so happy and just like switched on again. Like he needs that yeah. night out. Yeah. As in, I'm a bit different, I think. Yeah. Like Ash he'll, is, yeah. Like, yeah. It all gets a bit much sometimes, I suppose. You just like, like yeah. You guys have like someone cooks, someone cleans kind of yeah. stuff or like. Yeah, yeah, Dean does all the washing and the cooking. Washing, cooking, Ash cleans. 
yeah. everything else. Yeah. I'm not a cleaner guy. Nah, he doesn't know uh, how to clean a I toilet. The whole cleaning thing. I actually used to Under cook the heat, bus. But then, yeah. like, Sorry, when the whole, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but when the whole, um, when I, like, left, like, hospitality or whatever to come join, um, like, court jewelry and stuff, I think that's when I took over the cooking because you were yeah. doing more, like, obviously a lot more jewelry stuff yeah. than I was. Yeah. And, like, yeah. So I was kind and of. And I guess it was like I'd just finished work and it was my time to have with yeah. the kids. Yeah. So then Dean would be in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. And you balance the whole kid thing. Like, t- two kids is. Like, yeah. yeah. It's not easy one's in like my managing easy, business. One's easy. Two's like. Two mixed it up. Yeah, two yeah. mixed it up. That's I'm when a, we were like, okay, we need a. And he was a bit We need a too. studio outside <laughs> of the house. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of like. Yeah. I was getting to a point where I was like, this isn't working. Like, yeah. yeah. It was just getting too much. Like, I don't know, I'm probably a wuss. But, like, you know, yeah. you'd step out of the, the workshop slash garage. Yeah. And, like, straight into like dad or mum mode and like. Yeah. 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 Going from like answering emails or making jewelry to like. Wiping a butt. Like. Yeah, or well, having work, like work time, like your office is in your house. Yeah. Your, yeah. The garage is right there. And if you're not doing anything, you probably feel like, oh, shit, I've got that ring that's due. Oh, or I've totally. got, yeah, got like, deadlines or whatever it is. And you're like, yeah. oh, I'll just go in the garage for five minutes or t- ten minutes. It turns into two hours. And yeah. then yeah. you're like, oh, shit. It's like work. My balance is out the door. Yeah, it's just nice to be able to get ready and leave the house and have that drive. Yeah. That, it's only like ten minutes for us, but yes. it's just – Gives you that downtime yeah. on the way home or going to work just to get ready instead of we never had that before. Yeah. And it timed in well too, like, because we when we were at home, like, the kids were babies kind of thing. And yeah. Then when they started going to kindy and stuff, it was kind of perfect. So you get, like, a bit of a routine going on. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, a lot of the time we go to work together, which is funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah. We're the same. We're literally the same. Like, the other week we were like, hey – how about you go to work early <laughs> yeah. and I'll drop Lola off and then you pick her up early yeah. so she's yeah. not at kindy from nine to five or whatever it is yeah. and then it just doesn't happen. No, no we I know it, we're driving to work. We're like, we should be like making the most. But then at the same time, it's good that we're both there in the mornings and we're both there in the afternoons. Yeah, well, we can. Like, why not, yeah. right? Like, we're not, I don't know, we're not stressing ourselves out or anything. We're yeah. just kind of yeah, like we're enjoying just, it while we can. Like, yeah. our daughter's in prep next year, which is five days a week, which is mental to yeah. me. Like, that's, I'm going to see her on the weekends. And, and, and like, school, school hours? Yeah. yeah, that's that's where oh, I'm that's at next be year. Hard. Scaring the yeah. shit out of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you got to drop like you got to pick them up by a certain time. Yeah, well, you yeah. drop them off at eight thirty and pick them up by two thirty, oh, and then yeah. she's going to school in New South Wales, so it's um, oh, seven thirty oh, to one thirty. Yeah. So I'm, wow. I'm having half days for the rest yeah. of the year next that's year. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, we're trying to like make the most of this year and have yeah. as much family time, like you know, have Fridays off and stuff. That's so good. Yeah. Yeah, when take, you get to a point like that, you can actually like in. Like yeah. have an extra day or whatever it is and yeah. have family time. And our, like our customers are really good too because they know we're a small business, like family owned business. Yeah. Um, there is a bit of a longer wait because we're doing everything ourselves and yep. they know that we have young kids too. Yeah, and we try to share that a lot. So they – yeah, People are quite understanding. Like, yeah. yeah. Like when we talk about customers before being awesome, like I don't reckon we've probably had like one or two – customers that have like had issues with small very small things yeah like everyone's so waiting so. but yeah, yeah like everyone's really good yeah. yeah our biggest issue is um usually like delivery oh yeah, yeah. which like is that, out of your hands which is literally out of our hands yeah. like we've had we send stuff all over australia like wa is uh, like you know they're like three to four days express yeah it's crazy <laughs> yeah thing. and then it takes like two weeks or that or you just ring them and they're like oh we don't have your part like we send close to 150 orders a day out of here wow and not including like even wholesale but that is like they, you ring up and they're like oh condo and they're like oh it doesn't we don't know where that is yeah <laughs> like, so that's all you've got for me <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yep you're like, yep okay we'll resend that order now oh, <laughs> oh dude yeah yeah it's, I mean, international is the hard part. Like, do you guys do? Do you guys do lots of international stuff? Like, yeah. shipping yeah. international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, America. <laughs> uh, I just sent something to Japan today, which was rad. That's cool. Sent a few over there. Yeah, kind of tricky filling out those forms, but um, nah, Japan. Oh man, like we fell in love with that place. So to be able to like, and they're so fashion over there. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. To have like even a couple of customers over there is like huge for us. I think. I yeah. feel like you guys go off in the American market. Like yeah, and because like of the dollar yeah, too. Like they get out, they oh, get out so ch- bang for buck. Yeah, yeah especially with their own gold, man. Our, like. gold, our gold pieces, they get really. You need to like yeah. have a US website and change it to US dollars. I just, yeah. yeah, I need Dean to like. Dean looked into it and he's like, ah, oh, too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need. To, oh yeah, that's the thing. Hey, I played around the other day with Google Ads actually. Like, we were oh yeah, yeah. Before and like I targeted like uh, US area and like, yeah. 
feel like if I, I need to delve into that a bit more because I feel like that's definitely an opportunity for yeah. us. Ads yeah. are crazy. Like it, like the we're going through it at the moment, but the iOS updates and all the things that are happening with yeah. Apple and um, Google and um, Facebook and all the fights that are going oh, on, yes. it makes it hard to actually redefine. But you can you can still advertise to a really broad audience. They're yep. just not giving you as much information. I think there's like a thirteen percent of um, Apple consumers have opted back in because you are oh. you're always opted into marketing and following you around yeah, right. and now they've ta- they've made some law or whatever it is yeah. and only 13% of apple users have opted back in so yeah. we're only getting you're only getting information oh, on 13% of oh, wow. where previously wow. you had 100% there's a lot yeah. going on over there at the moment hey with all that stuff yeah it's gnarly and like you talk to advertising agencies and they're like oh it's day to day we don't know what's happening here's what it is yeah, yeah. right yeah. That's something like it's all boring stats <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah something that like i don't understand any of it I leave it up to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's tricky. I'm just like, <laughs> trying, to teach, trying to teach myself. I'm like, oh, I, I should probably like hire someone one day for that stuff. But, but uh, honestly, yeah. it's one of those things that it can, because um, there's a direct relation in terms of money, money back. Yeah. Like yeah. your ROI is very clear whether you're getting, yes. you know, for every dollar you spend, you get four back. You, every dollar you spend, yeah. you get eight back or whatever it is. Or it tells you your customer acquisition cost is. $32, yeah. but they're spending uh, $350 with you guys. So yeah. you're willing to not give a discount on your website, but spend the $32 to acquire them through Facebook yeah. or whatever yeah, it is. True. Anyway. Yeah, there's a yeah. I can go, <laughs> yeah. I can go on a day about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you know, we need to we'll talk. talk. We'll yeah. talk off air. <laughs> Where do you guys go to relax? Like outside of court jewelry and the family, what do you guys do to relax? Um, Besides romance novels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do you go? Uh-huh. We do a lot of camping lately, actually. Yeah, we just got a tr- little camper trailer. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. love it. Yeah. On it. So, yeah, that's huge for us. Like, like as a family to escape, that's great. Yes. Yeah. We don't really go far at the moment either. Like you just tank, across yeah. the border. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But it feels like you know, mate, driving any further than an hour with kids in the car. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what we plan around. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I really want to get here, and Ash is like, oh, four hours in the car. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, right. I want to relax. Yeah, so we like can an go, hour we'll drive at night. But yeah, besides that, like yeah, we're at the beach heaps and um, beach, yeah, eating, yeah, eating, eating out. <laughs> where's your Where's your favorite restaurants? Restaurants? Um, we go. Well, since, I know you like elk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cafes. Yeah, cafes. Well, elk. Do we start from cafes? <laughs> yeah. Elk Highline and like Good Day. Um, they're, they're the spot. The Highline and Good Day are the spots I see. Yeah, that's where we were seeing. Yeah, before. true. Yeah, that's that'd be exactly <laughs> yeah. where we saw you. Yes, exactly. Um, restaurants changed when we had Billy because he's allergic to egg. So that cut down like a lot of what we could eat. Yeah, it's weird how like eggs and everything. Anyway, yeah, well, that's so we started story. doing like the um, in Nobby's the I love ramen. Oh, is I like oh, oh I, I love ra- I, yeah, love I love ramen. ramen. I like, yeah, yeah, yeah I that's pretty cool. Yeah, and itoshin. Yeah, we got itoshin here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love itoshin. Just yeah, our kids and like little eat everything. Most people call it intoshin, don't they? Yeah. yeah. What, what is, is it called? What, what is it? Intoshin. I don't know. Intoshin. I don't know. Itoshin. 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 Yeah, we go to that place. Yeah, that one. Tommy goes there on day tapes. <laughs> now the guy I used to work with, he's, um, his family owns it or something. Oh, yeah. sick! Yeah, 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 yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, and little Itosian, that place is rad. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But yeah, our kids yeah. eat everything, so like they'll just eat like raw fish. Yeah, that's the best. Hey, my daughter's so the good. same. It's the yeah? best. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Smash it! Like she gets mad when she runs out of sashimi. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, is he the same? Hey, you're expensive. We'll yeah. get like a expensive plate of taste. salmon. Yeah, and she just sna- and we're like, oh, great. We're gonna eat that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like pizza joints and stuff like that. Yeah. If we're doing like date nights or friends without the kids, it's like Eddie and Wolf's. Really good. Yeah, it's like Where was right. that? Eddie and Wolf. Uh, it's in Rabina. I heard about this. It's, it's near, like really it's fine near, dining, isn't it? Yeah, it's near. Oh, um, no, not, not super, oh. but it's real intimate. Like it's real small. Like yeah, right. it seats 20 people. You can sit around the bar and like they make drinks and like you see the chefs cooking right That's in front of you. It. Yeah, it's That's really, really, it's really like, good food. I think it's like mixed. Maybe I have to put that yeah. on the date night list, I reckon. Yeah, yeah definitely. You'll love it. It's, it's really cool. It's real hidden yeah. too. Amazing food. It's right near Rabina Pavilion actually. Yeah, man. I'm yeah, sorry. Across the seen. road. I've heard I've definitely heard of it. Yeah. I've seen photos and stuff on Instagram people yeah. there, but yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's just walking distance from our house. So we like that. Other than that, what else do we do? To escape? Nothing. Nothing. Just go out and drink. <laughs> Separately. <laughs> just turn up. <laughs> yeah. Separately. Used to, Separately. Used to surf back in the yeah. day. And then yeah. I haven't done that much these days, but comes hard with the kids. Like yeah. I yeah. yeah, I try to surf a little bit, but yeah. like my daughter just loves a beach. So we end up ta- yeah. I take the fins out of my board and she rolls around yeah. in the sand and yeah. stuff like and that, that's and that's fun. it. Like you don't you don't care when they're frothing out. So. No, nah, absolutely. As long as they're happy and then they're tired after the beach, yeah, it's all exactly. good. <laughs> exactly. I man. love that midday nap. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got a two-year-old, so yeah. you got a bit. You got a fair while. You got like another yeah. year or two of that. Yeah. 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 Keeps so the up, hey? yeah, and Izzy's just loves TV, so that midday nap. <laughs> <laughs> Movies. Yeah, good. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. I really appreciate it. Like, Thank uh, you like, for I, yeah, yeah, I've seen your stuff for a long period of time back from like when Penn and Surf Store used to sell it and stuff yeah. like that. So it's been really fun. Obviously, seeing you guys at the coffee shop and we have um, some indirect, like we have friend, usual yeah. friends and stuff yes. like that. So it's been really nice to get to know you guys and tell your story. Where can people buy your stuff? What's your web? What's, what is the website? Courtjury.com.au. Um, yeah, he won't court. get you with ads. Yeah. So you can <laughs> go to yeah. it's, you it's, it's not spelled <laughs> court, it's not spelled like Courtney no, either. It's no. spelled C O R T. Yeah. And yeah, Instagram court C O R T Jury. Yeah. I think that's about it. Ash and Dean. Um yeah, thanks for having us here. Your yeah, place thanks is so epic. much. Thank you so it's much. It's cool to have a walk around too and to see how it all And happens. thanks for the drinks. No worries. Yeah, very I, think nice. I think you win. Because you, you're in third place, I think you're going to take some home. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's a little gift pack Stoked. waiting for you. Stoked. Well, mate, so. we drink this stuff all the time. <laughs> so we're, we're so happy. Well, enjoy. Thank you so much again, Thank you. guys. Thank Cheers. You. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a review. Go show the shake up some love and stay connected. Don't forget you can watch all of our episodes on YouTube. Also, jump over to our Shake Up Cocktail Gang Facebook page where you can find out who's coming up on the podcast. And if you've got questions for them, I'll ask the bloody questions. You can also use the code SHAKEUP for 10% off on mrconsistent.com.au. Thank you so much for listening. And just remember, shit, that's fresh.